Kumasi, the second largest city in Ghana, situated in the Ashanti region, boasts of a population of approximately 3.6 million. The surge in population and activities has spurred the demand for enhanced road infrastructure in the region. Consequently, the government is undertaking initiatives to construct new roads, rehabilitate existing ones, and expand the current road networks. A pivotal intervention in this endeavor is the construction of the Swami Interchange and the complementary road project. Kumasi generally is a ring road with some radial routes, so what we refer to as a ring and spoke. So coming from the eastern direction or coming from Accra, the first part of the ring that you get to is the Anoga Junction, or also known as Ovary Chrome. Then you have the Lake Road. Uh, interchange. That's the intersection of the ring road and the lake road. We have an interchange built there. Then the next one you meet is around Georgia Hotel. That's the Anhojo runabout. Uh, that's another congested spot. Then you have Santasi runabout, equally congested. Then you come to Sofu Line, which has been built as an interchange, uh, a full clover leaf. Then you get to Swam runabout, a very currently the most congested intersection in Kumasi. But then the, the, the challenge at that junction or that runabout or the intersection is that when you are from the Eastern Bypass and you want to turn towards um, the road that will lead you to the north, you realize that the, 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 it's quite steep and there's always a lot of traffic there. And these heavy laden trucks are unable to stop and move at a slow pace to climb that steep hill. The government of the Republic of Ghana has received financing from the Afri Exim Bank towards the cost of financing major arterial and critical local roads within the enclave of the Swami Runabout in the Greater Kumasi Metropolitan Area. This project comprises two key components. The first component involves the construction of a four-tier interchange at Swami along with two overpasses at Abrepo and Crowfrom junctions, as well as the widening of sections of the ring road. The second component entails the construction of three overpasses at Anomanji, Magazine New Road, and Ebusia Krua junctions. Additionally, the offensive road, N10, will be widened into a two by three lane dual carriageway. Furthermore, 15 kilometers of local roads and selected intersections within the project catchment area will be improved. The construction of the roads, overpasses, and interchange will be undertaken by Messrs. Rango Construction Company Limited, a local construction company in Ghana, and the supervision of the project will also be undertaken by another local engineering consulting company, Messrs. Associated Consultants Limited, ACON with the Department of Urban Roads acting as the implementing agency and the engineer while the Ministry of Roads and Highways is the employer. Well, the project is in two phases, as I was trying to explain. The first phase is a four-tier interchange, and that comprises of a four-tier interchange at the roundabout location now, together with an underpass at Abrepo Junction. If you know Kumasi well, the terrain lends itself to the construction of an underpass. Then at Crowfrom Junction, we intend to fly over. These are all congested junctions within close proximity of the Swami Interchange. So we are trying to do that as part of the first phase. Phase two is like, uh, like what I told you, update the uh, offense road plus three over bus, you know, Manji and uh, new, mar new market magazine, and Abus Krua Junction. So three over bus plus uh, within the offense road, from two by two to two by three. So it becomes three lanes left-hand side and three on the right-hand side. Plus 15 kilometer of the local road around the main road, the front road. This is phase two. When you look at the Swami Interchange, for instance, when it is completed, it's going to aid in beating the time that people will use there. At times, um, big trucks with perishable goods get Broken down around the place and look at tomato or any perishable. And 
the effect to the traders and to the other business men. Community between the center of Ghana, that is Kumasi, through to northern part of the country and to as the sub-regions, it's going to be easier for, for them. And therefore, the appeal for people to come and, and, and do business here to be there. Because they know, yes, when we come in, we have good roads to use. We won't waste my time. Uh, these are not going to perish us being in the past. And therefore, they will be assured of reaping whatever investments that they put in. I know this government is poised and ready to make sure that Ashanti region gets this interchange and nothing is stopping it. The interchange is starting and we are going to see to its completion. So the people of Kumase, the people of Ashanti region, the people of Swami should be rest assured that this government will not disappoint them in terms of this interchange that we are talking about. It is going to happen. It has started and it is going to happen. In fact, we've been looking forward to seeing it implemented you know, over this long period. I understand some people's uh, shops and, you know, other facilities have been demolished. And those people are still awaiting their compensation. They have done the valuation everything. Now, the valuation exercise, or the central exercise for this arterial road ended somewhere last year in March 2022. Now, for the other local roads which are within, the sensor exercise ended somewhere in August. I think somewhere around 22nd. That also ended. So it means that after this date, anybody at all who comes to put a property or comes to put his wear or her wear or any other thing on the corridor will not be given anything. Now, so when you touch in there, you have to be able to get a lot of Anytime you are not, anytime you are passengers, you complaining, why no, about traffic? Anytime you are traffic, I see, I see, two bed, my prana. One here late traffic into me, wait to make what you are there. Oh, it's my sister, I buy an idea to also be in touch in Jinamaya. You two seven to my day. A boy, yeah, pa. And here, when they come and say they want to do overhead for us, interchange. And we are happy about that thing. Because if they do it, we'll be happy. Because here, there's traffic, a lot of traffic is causing here. Some local roads have been carefully selected within the communities which have greater impact on the operations of the Swami intersection. These roads connect the trunk, major arterials emanating to and from the Swami intersection. Congestion and poor conditions of the existing road network, coupled with inadequate alternative routes, have resulted in long travel times. The need to improve the selected major arteria and local roads within the influence of the existing Swami runabout has been evaluated in the context of the city's overall network improvement. The local roads include selected roads within Swami magazine. The existing roads are unengineered and in very poor conditions. These roads are expected to serve as collectors linking the magazine community to the arterial roads to enhance connect CPC Asantiman link. The existing road is paved, however, some sections are in poor condition. The road will be expected to serve as a collector for the Ashtown Mencia communities and to offer a credible linkage to the interchange and the adjoining roads. Selected roads within Swami, Macro, Quapra, Takwa Macro roads are in poor conditions. These roads are expected to serve as collectors to link the Anomanji road. When developed, it will also serve as an alternative bypass to and from community beyond. Adwatu roads linkage. The road is paved, but in a poor condition. The road is expected to serve as a bypass from the Barakasi road R52 to the Kwadaso area and communities beyond. Bantma Kropo area roads. These roads are unengineered and in very poor condition. These roads are expected to complement mobility efforts from Barakesi Road R52 to Offensu Road N10. Race course roads. These roads are unengineered and in poor condition. These roads are expected to complement mobility from Mampon Road South to Bantama Community. Tafu New Road Link 2. These roads are unengineered and in poor condition. These roads are expected to complement mobility from Mampon Road to the Eastern Bypass. Moshi Zongo Link Road. 
The road is unengineered and in a poor condition. The road is expected to complement mobility efforts from Mampon Road to Eastern Bypass Road. The project, when completed, is expected to meet one of the Department of Urban Road's objectives of establishing a comprehensive urban road network. It will improve capacity with continued traffic growth and will connect other completed and planned road projects to form a continuous network and better meet the demands placed on it. The need for the project is based on traffic efficiency through the relief of congestion, road safety, urban expansion, commercial development, and freight transport demands. Quality is number one. We are not joking with the quality issue. Without the cooperation of the people of Swami and its environs, there is no way the project will be completed because they are our key stakeholders. As we are doing the project for human beings first and foremost. We intend to enhance the quality of life that is led within the environment and also the congestion that people experience. With the projects put together, we are having five underpasses and a big 40 year interchange at the location. So it will take some time to get it done. But however, we are committed to working as quickly as we can and deal with the issues very well.